Hello people, welcome back to the channel and uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, Ethereum and Solana as I figure it was about a week that I haven't posted on um, these two cryptos so today we're going to take a look at the update on, for the LWF count on these two uh, yeah, on these two and uh, before we get started, I think I wanted to say um, I was thinking about um, starting to fully reveal my long-term living growth portfolio as I also wanted to expand in that field here on the channel. So if that's something that you may, may be interested in, uh, let me know. I know that all of you are here. They are because of L-Wave. Um, however, I wanted to combine, show you, you know, the power of L-Wave when it comes to long-term investing. So that being said, um, and out of the way, uh, let's get started with um, ETH. So right here, if uh, for ETH, we've had uh, two counts. Uh, let me see. Okay, so one was this one. Uh, pretty. This has to be the most conservative one uh, when it still, but but still being bullish. So I'm not saying we're doing something like this. Um, and as you see, a W X Y. Uh, but uh, it, 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 we would need to fall back lower. And that is not my preferred count. My preferred count for the time being is either something like this. So one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, four. And uh, here wait for, to be fair, um, it could be, you could move it either sideways or what I'm thinking is uh, you could, one, two, three, four, five. you could also count something like um, oh yeah, yeah, that's by the way another possibility. Uh, one two one two one two, which is also possible. But nevertheless, uh, we would still be looking for further upside. And another count that I see being possible is, oh wait, it's basically this one. Uh, we could squeeze in here. One two, three four five. I guess this would also be possible. Um, here, can we count through th on two, one, two, three? Uh, I guess you could count it as two, A, B, or A, two, three, four, five, A, B, and C. Um, so that would be sub minuet. Some sort of ABC. Let me dip here. Some sort of leading diagonal. Sorry, and a diagonal into that way. C up, truncated fifth, uh, which would fit for one of the Bitcoin counts. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I will leave you the Bitcoin count uh, popping up. And um, so let me create a folder and let's call it um, five in the making. Okay, um, sharp and here upside. Now let's focus on the short term, uh, assuming we have a bottom in place, which is possible. Um, I won't say it's not, but uh, we'll see. We, we've been moving pretty much slaggy over the past week. Uh, we moved m more downwards than upwards. So here you could count as one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, and five. Uh, this would be something like uh, micro, I believe. So one, two, and th this would be interesting. Uh, you could count it as uh, three, can you count it like this? Could this be a leading diagonal? I think so. One, yes, way three shorter. So you could count it something like this, to be honest. Right here.
downside and then here upside. Or you could argue this is some sort of a three wave move. This would be your bearish case. And then so a three wave move and then downside. Um, so you could argue it's one of the two. Uh, for the time being, I want to remain uh, bullish. I I have reason to believe we could see more upside, uh, but I'm being cautious. And many times wave ones are, uh, um, what can I say? They're pretty sluggish, hard to identify. So something like this, I guess it's possible. Um, I will, uh, let's call this intraday one um, or again I showed you what what you know if you want to see it as a three wave move I guess it's possible and uh, another wave to count it could be one two three four five with a very time consuming four I guess that's also you could squeeze that too uh, but here wave five would, would have to be shorter than three um, so that's that's what I see for Eve. And if you have any questions, as usual, as usual uh, let me know down in the comments. And Solana. So here for Solana, I'm a bit more bullish because I identified this as a potential one, two, one, two, three, four, five, four. So this to me appears like a three wave move. So that looks to me really corrective. Um, the only down, I mean, if you want to be negative, the only thing you could argue is that it looks almost the same as this one. And that could not be a, a good sign, as you would need alternation. And here, if you dig deep uh, into it, uh, you could count it as some sort of wave one and two. So as you can understand, in both of these cryptos, as well as Bitcoin, um, if we want to be bullish, so if we want to see it, you know, the move of the lows of, uh, you know, August 5th, if we want to see it as bullish, we need to start moving higher soon. So uh, today is Sunday. It's uh, almost, uh, you know, it's 3 p.m. CET. Um, and, uh, you know, by Monday open, so within the next 24 hours, we need to um, continue higher. Uh, so next week, we would need to see upside. If not, then it's highly possible this is going to be turned out into bearish. Um, and nevertheless, uh, you know, even if it's A B, we should still get you know. And I'm I'm saying A B. You could it could be A, it could be one, it could be uh, W. Whatever it is, up down up. Um, unless we. Uh, move sideways as some sort of a connector and then continue lower uh, but that's the way I see it um, if you have any questions let me know down in the comments and uh, if you want to stay updated I would highly appreciate if you subscribe as well if you want to join the discord it's absolutely free and the link is down below thanks and I'll see you in the next one